Hello, welcome back to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel and I am homeschooling my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our education. I am continuing in my series on math in the early years prior to the Sex and Math uh, Book 5-4. And today I am going to focus on third grade. <laughs> down below this is a free printable that has all the resources or nearly all the resources I'm going to be talking about today links within the document and so you won't have to go searching the internet to find stuff and uh, we were going to start with uh, math facts of course so Dr. Robinson that's what he is um, recommends us focusing on prior to sex and math is just math facts all operations through the 12s um, I know a lot of us choose to have some other math uh, resources and elements that we incorporate, and I'm no different. Um, so if you're just working on math facts, what I have listed is the um, math fact flashcards uh, for the abacus. <laughs> so this, these run through a whole bunch of different skills to, or different, I should say, levels you know, moving, starting with put, just putting numbers on the abacus all the way up to division. They are still being introduced to those concepts. Um, you can still use these abacus flashcards to introduce those concepts to them. And, you know, you can still be having your right pile, wrong pile method that you're using your flashcards for. If you're unfamiliar with the right pile, wrong pile method, the kids will have a stack, you know, whatever they're working on of math facts. And they'll just work on themselves. They'll say, oh, 3 plus 5 is 8. And they flip it over. Oh, that was right. I put it in my right pile. 7 minus 5 is 4. Oh, that was wrong. I put it in my wrong pile, right? And then at the end, after they've sorted through whatever ones they're working on, they can pick up their wrong pile and just work on their wrong pile. That's a brief synopsis of that. So they can still be doing that. So if you are going the full curriculum route, I have one child that is more minimal and one child that's more full curriculum. They're just different. Um, then I have chosen to do the um, Raise Arithmetic series and you can print those out with RC or you can buy hard copies or um, you probably can find them in the public domain, I think. So um, I previously, so sec first and second grade, um, we worked on Ray's new primary arithmetic. That's the first book in the series. So if they finished that, they can move on to Ray's new intellectual arithmetic if they'd like. So this I can't find, I don't find any workbooks that go along to this one. Assuming that by the time they're able to do this level of math, that they're also able to read instructions and um, write out their own problems and things. And so looks like that. So I really liked Ray's new primary arithmetic. I haven't done Ray's new intellectual arithmetic yet, um, it's, but it's that's my plan with that particular child. Um, all right, so then if you would like a little more than just math facts, but maybe not a full math curriculum, then um, I have an option on here for that so that I have the Kakiak multiple, oh, multiplication division workbooks which I did touch on in the last video, but I just think sometimes it takes more than one grade to master multiplication and division and math facts, you know, in, um, so maybe you only got through multiplication in, you know, second grade, maybe you'll do division in uh, third grade, maybe, I mean, it really depends on when your kid starts and kind of if they take to it or not. So these are all just, you know, general estimated grade levels. So um, don't feel like just because your child is like eight that they have to do multiplication in math. Like if they're not ready for it, they're not ready for it, right? If they're past it, they're past it. They can probably start at sex in by four, right? So you get to make that decision. So what I like about my sequence is I feel like it's a sliding scale, right? You can ignore, you can ignore the grade level 
and you can just go, you know, slide on the scale of the skills and the resources just based on where your child is. Like, you know, we want to meet them where they are, not make them uh, feel less than if, 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 we're, if it's beyond their reach. And we don't want to be boring them either. If they can really do more, let them do more, you know. Uh, See so what else we have on here. So the, okay, so yeah, the, my, um, on my TPT store, I also have um, free memory pyramids for skip counting and um, free fact family homes. If you are unfamiliar with the skip memory skip pyramid, it's just a big triangle with lines. <laughs> and so you start, say you're going to count by three. So the top, you say three, and then you say three, six, and then you say, three, six, nine, right? And you just keep doing that. And it's just a repetitive way to um, help them remember. And I mean, there's lots of things that you can do to help your kids remember stuff. I remember when I was teaching William his threes, I just like wrote all the threes out on paper and then I like taped them around the floor. And then he would he would skip one, two, three. He would land on the on three four, five, six, like every three he would land on it. I don't know, so just be creative and have fun, you know, with your kids. Oh, I still have a math game, um, math scrabble and logic games, which I think I talked about. Maybe not, but I just bought this logic games and I like to just have something fun and colorful, something that kind of gives our brain a little workout um, but breaks up just all the worksheets and flashcards because they can get really sick of it. Um, I do have a blog I wrote a while back about math flashcard games and I'll, I'll link that down below too in case you just want to expand on the flashcards and make that more fun. Um, I feel like I've tried. I've tried so many things. <laughs> That is what I have for third grade. It kind of starts getting narrower and narrower. Like you start out when they're younger, it seems like there's, it kind of goes like this. I kind of feel like for the resources, like you, like you do less. And then it's like, you're trying to cover more things, but at like a base level. And then you start getting into your full curriculums where everything's rolled into one resource, like sex and math or um, the Ray's arithmetic series. So um, I will talk to you a little bit more about fourth grade in our next video.